Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Monday's edition of The Breakfast Club. I'm Got That Funk. I'd like to thank you for joining me. I almost forgot it was my day to make a video. I've been sort of head down doing a lot of artwork lately. Um, let me show you what I did, uh, not this weekend just gone, but the week before. Like that. I was pretty pleased with the way that one turned out. And I've got another one that's similar but different and not quite as striking um, on the wall in the living room. And I'm working on a companion piece for that as, uh, as we speak. But then I thought, oh shit, Monday, video. And here it is, brought up by Sister Danger. We're talking about um, flirting versus sexual harassment. At least that's what I'm going to title this video. And Sister Danger spoke of a situation where uh, a person that she was just making the acquaintance of um, touched her in what I would call a familiar way. And uh, basically, from what she said, uh, it seems that she gave him a look which made him infer that it wasn't necessarily okay for him to do that. He then mentioned it probably wasn't okay for him to do that, and she conferred that that's correct, and basically suggested he didn't do that again. Um, and to his credit, he didn't. And in my opinion, both parties handled that situation exactly how it should be handled. Because like Sister Danger, I, I want to live in a world uh, that is run by adults uh, in the interest of adults and where people behave like adults. And behaving like an adult uh, does not necessarily mean that you don't take any risks, far from it. And those risks can be of any nature. They don't have to be of a romantic or sexual nature. They can be of any nature. I think a, a life without risks isn't really a life being lived. It's an existence. And um, I, I, I honestly feel that, um, you know, in life, sometimes, often in fact, uh, the greater chances that you take, the, the bigger the reward can be. Now, when it comes to uh, interpersonal relationships, especially of a sexual and or romantic nature, uh, the rules are slightly different. And I personally have very strict rules of behavior that I almost never stray from. And I'm really not a very good flirt. And this is something I wanted to talk about because apparently I'm very flirtatious when I'm not trying to be. And when I'm trying to flirt with people, I'm a crap at it. So I gave up on trying to flirt with people. And, uh, you know, that's just me. I wouldn't try and take it away from anybody else. Absolutely not. Like I said a moment ago, I want to live in a world that's ran by adults for adults, you know. And for my money, that means that it's okay to be flirtatious in the right context. It's okay to be forward in the right context. And as you will note, I said in the right context both of those times for a very good reason. Back in the day when I was first becoming acquainted with Kazum Fowler, this is about three or four years ago on YouTube, we had a, quite a few conversations about uh, what is or is not sexual harassment. And uh, those videos still exist on my channel. Uh, maybe I'll link them in the description box. I, I doubt anyone will watch them, but I'll put them there anyway. Um, but yeah, I have pretty strong feelings about things like catcalling and uh, what people call street harassment. Some people think street harassment isn't a thing. I cannot agree with that. I work on a construction site as a scaffolder at the moment, and I witness guys catcalling and street harassing women on a regular basis. Uh, I can say it's not comfortable for most of the chicks in question, and therefore I don't really think it's appropriate. Now what constitutes harassment is a question which I don't necessarily think has been directly taken head on uh, so far in this discussion. And from my point of view, harassment is not just uh, unwanted repeated behavior. Uh, harassment is more to the point has an air of being threatening to it. If you feel that you are as, as a reasonable person can feel that you're in some peril, if you're in some potential jeopardy because of the way someone's talking to you, looking at you or treating you, then yeah I think you're being harassed. That's harassment for sure. Um, repeated behavior of an unwelcome nature, uh, you know, can be harassment, but I don't think by definition it has to be harassment. I think there's a very fine line, and I know I'm playing semantics here, but uh, pestering is pestering, and everyone will draw the line differently as to when pestering becomes harassment, um, but I don't necessarily think the two are 100% synonymous. 
um, like I say, for me, harassment uh, implies a sense of danger, a sense that you're not necessarily safe and you have the right to feel safe in a social situation, um, especially when someone's apparently trying to win your favor, you know, um, which is always something that blows me away. You know, I, I've uh, been around guys who make Donald Trump type statements uh, for much of my life. You know, um, and when I say Donald Trump, I'm obviously talking about the Billy Bragg recording. Um, Billy Bragg. <laughs> I meant to say Billy Bush. Um, anyway, recording, you know, that came out during the campaign where he said that he grabs women by the pussy. Sure, I've heard guys talk like that, and I've heard guys talk to women like that. And I don't think it's cool. I don't think it's suave. I don't think it's okay. Okay? I, don't, I, I, I absolutely think there is such a thing as inappropriate behavior. And I don't really think it takes a genius to be able to deduce which situations are okay and which situations are not okay uh, to take that potential risk, to take that chance, to step across the line because you think that might be a welcome thing if you did. Like it or not, some people, male and female, liked to be chased. Some people absolutely do not like to be chased. In the same way like JJ Talk says, she doesn't like to be touched. I know quite a few people, male and female, who just have a thing about their personal space. And they would just prefer it. Thank you very much if, if, uh, if you only touched if you were invited to do so. And I can respect that. You know, I can absolutely respect that from anybody. I could also respect a much more open approach. I'm a very touchy-feely person myself. And uh, as such, you know, I learned a long time ago um, that other people aren't necessarily the same way inclined and therefore you have to be very careful and judge your situations according to the context and the familiarity and everything else that uh, factors into it. And like I said a moment ago, I don't think it takes a genius. I think quite frankly when people go over the mark and, um, and say or do something which is blatantly unwelcome. A lot of times I think they, they knew they were taking a chance that was probably a little bit too much and also they probably thought it was going to be a little bit funny. And you know if it's not funny, if it's not welcome, if it's not received well and it turns out not to be funny, um, it shouldn't really be thought of as funny afterwards either kind of a thing. You know if you make a mistake you should own up to it like the person in Sister Danger's example did do and just you know, not let it happen again. I find it insulting anyway if, you, if you're engaging in small talk with someone um, rather than just opening letting them know that you're interested in and, and talk to them on that level. Um, and that's the way I tend to go with it and that includes being extremely forward sometimes. You know, if, if I'm interested in a hookup for example I will come straight out and ask. I'm not going to try to put moves on someone to uh, assuage, uh, uh, sorry, uh, to gauge their um, their their willingness to um, you know be with me. I'm just going to straight out say, "Hey, let's go back to my room." You know, I think we could have a good time. If that's not welcome, I'll apologize, and it won't happen again. And I'll say so. Don't let it put a weird on it. I won't come up again end of discussion. It's, I, I think frankly most people respect a uh, direct approach as opposed to someone blatantly just beating around the bush looking for some sort of opportunity to be more forward. I say be forward straight off the bat and if it's uh, knocked back that's okay. Uh, you know we're adults and we should be able to uh, just proceed as if it didn't happen because it doesn't actually matter. Um, and that's another thing I want to say you know um, it, Sexual harassment to me uh, is not flirting, but flirting can be sexual harassment. Um, and I do think that people need to calm the fuck down and recognize that it's okay to flirt. It's okay to ask someone for their number or to offer your number to them. It's okay. That All by itself, that is not sexual harassment. Back in the day, I seen uh, someone say that it was sexual harassment on um, on YouTube. Say it was sexual harassment to ask someone for their number. And I'm sorry, that's not sexual harassment. That's showing an interest. There's a vast difference between showing an interest in someone and sexual harassment. And I think when people uh, 
try to label something so innocuous as asking someone for their phone number as sexual harassment. Um, it's no wonder this topic uh, raises so much ire and uh, discussions generate more heat than light. I want to thank Sister Danger for bringing up the topic. Uh, I hope my thoughts have contributed somewhat to the discussion. Um, in general though, I think, yeah, it, it is harassment sometimes and I do think people who are being harassing usually know that they are and should just knock it the fuck off, you know. It, it doesn't have to be that way. And whether or not your harassing style might work on occasion, in other words, uh, the girl succumbs anyway because you wear her down and she uh, just succumbs to you because you've worn her down, there's nothing respectable about that. It's not a conquest, you know, these are human beings we're talking about. And, you know, if that's the way you think that it's, a, you know, um, a conquest, I think you need to check yourself from the neck up. Right, that's me. I'm done. Thanks for watching. I look forward to the comments down below, and I'll see you again next week. Cheers.